So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install EEG Lab. So I assume you've downloaded the files and I've unzipped them here. First, we're going to start by installing EEG Lab. So in this video, I show you how to install EEG Lab on Windows. It's actually very similar on, on Mac. It's the same screen, so I'm, I'm only going to do it for Windows. So here you double click and you have two files either this one or this one so if you're on if you're on the windows you click on this one if you're on mac you click on this one and you don't have to worry because you can't start the windows file on mac and the mac file on windows so whichever works for you is is for sure the right one so here uh, i press ok trust For you, the screen is going to take much longer because here I've done the installation before, so it's much faster. For you, it's probably going to take much uh, longer. Uh, EG Lab 15, description of what the software is doing. Pressing next. Then where do you want to install it? This is good. Don't add a shortcut to this desktop and I will explain you uh, why later. Uh, so more disclaimer where to install uh, EG Lab, etc. So this is a summary of what uh, the program is going to do. I'm not going to do it here. It takes about 40 minutes to an hour just to download all the files to execute EG Lab. And uh, what I, I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, assume it has been installed and that's the case for me. So if it's done installing, uh, what you would do next, so I'm going to quit here. What you would do next is go to your C drive and your program files. So that would be your application folder for Mac. And uh, then select EG Lab application so if you're on Mac it would be application EEG lab and then you have these two files here EEG lab run this one on Windows EEG lab run this one on Mac if you're on Mac you might have to left click this one and make it an executable file I'm not 100% sure it is executable file by default in any case you can always click on EEG lab it's going to work it's just you will be missing uh, the text output. So here I'm going to create a shortcut and you can do that on Mac as well. So here I'll rename that shortcut EG Lab and now you're uh, ready to ready to start it. So I'm going to double click on it. So if you were to create the shortcut you wouldn't have this text window. And this text window sometimes gives you important information. It's not critical. You can totally use the software without the text window. But it gives you sometimes relevant information.